Greetings, people of the internet. This is Cardiax, and today is another video. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what number this is, but I think it's like 28 or 29, because I've been doing daily videos for a while now. Anyway, um, this video is kind of a Q&A, but I, I'm not really popular enough to have actually gotten questions. So I just went around the internet to find questions that I thought would be fun to answer as a kind of introductory video that's kind of like an, uh, I don't know, and just an introduction, I guess, to me. So I wrote down some questions that I wanted to answer, and I also um, found some extra ones just in case I run out of things that I wrote down. And if I get through the ones in my notebook, then I will um, get to the others. And if I don't get to all of them, then I'll probably make separate videos for them. Because some of them could be like really good uh, prompts for videos. Oh, before I get started, though, I would like to mention that this is a drawing of myself. It's a self-portrait. Like, I used to always sit... Um, on the floor or something at school when we were in the gym. So I'm, I'm not athletic at all. Anyway, so I would sit somewhat like this and I would just draw. So I thought I'd draw myself for a kind of Q&A thing. It, it's fitting, right? Um, so when I did this, I thought that uh, I would draw it in a sketchbook and I was going to record it but I didn't and so I I just did a sketch in the sketchbook because the sketch that the preliminary sketch in my sketchbook actually turned out decent so I decided I'd use that instead the beginning part by the way is me taking a my, me taking the picture I took of my drawing and putting it in my program, which is Manga Studio 5, and desaturating as well as brightening it up so it would be easier to see the lines. And I know that the lighting is terrible in that picture, but I didn't intend for it to be to look good just because I knew that I'd be able to fix it later. My cat wants attention, but I'm busy. Anyway, on to the questions. Oh, before I said that, I wanted to just say that I kind of wanted this to turn out looking kind of sketchy, so I didn't erase much at all. So, for example, I resized the head of the drawing, and um, I left the original sketchy, sketchy lines that were on the paper that I started working on. You can see that just, just above the head. Anyway, to the questions. <clears throat> All right, so I'm not going to say my name. I'm not comfortable with that just yet. I know some people already know it, but yeah. So until then, just call me Cardiax or Cardia or Cardi or whatever. Um, My age isn't really important, but if you watch my other videos, you'll probably be able to figure it out at least within a couple of years. Why did I start on YouTube? Well, I, I'm i an artist. I've always been drawing ever since I was a child, and I love to draw, so when I saw other artists on YouTube, I thought that it seemed really cool, and I'd like to give it a shot myself, and so far I really like it. My favorite YouTubers, um, hmm. I don't really have, like, legit favorites. I just go through phases of watching certain ones, and then just kind of switch around. So sometimes I'll watch Gel Arts and Hello Alice or something, and then I'll lose interest for a little while, and then I'll go watch somebody else. Like, um, they're like the only two artists I have in my head right now. <laughs> I also like other um, YouTubers though, like R Riyad. I know I found him recently, and I don't know how to pronounce his name. I hope I didn't butcher it. But, like, it's, like, Riyad K or something like that. It's like, R-I-Y-A-D-H. One of those names I've never 
really seen before. But lately, the kind of YouTubers that I really like watching are Pixie Locks, Sophia, and Nygaard. I love, I love her and BuzzFeed, but I'm kind of on strike. I don't like watching BuzzFeed anymore. But I do like her. I always have liked her, actually, even when she was at BuzzFeed. I was just like, my attention was always pretty much on her. Uh, Doodle Date and Drawing with Waffles. I love Doodle Date. They're so cute. And Drawing with Waffles is just, she's just, she's just, yes. All right. So my favorite medium isn't really important. I tend to change mediums sometimes, but really what I do most is obviously digital because I'm doing that right now. And I also like to do watercolor and gouache. They're just really, really fun. I love, I love being able to mix the paints. It's just so gratifying somehow, as opposed to just having the colors pre-mixed for you in a digital program. I just like being able to find my own colors and discovering a new color is just amazing. Anyway, um, <laughs> What tablet do I use for digital art? I use a Wacom Intuos Pro Medium. It's surprisingly large. Anyway, the watercolor paper that I have in my sketchbook that I put together myself is Aquarelle brand paper. I hope I hope you can understand that because I have a struggle trying to say Aquarelle. Uh, brushes I typically use in Manga Studio. In this drawings. In this drawing, I switched it around because usually I use the light pencil and I did use it a bit this time, but I switched it to, um, what was it called? It was called something like, um, I don't know, it's in the pastel section there. You may be able to read it on the screen, but I, I can't at the moment. But it's it's kind of like a, it, it's closer to a pencil look than the actual pencil tool because I wanted this drawing to look kind of almost like it could have been a sketchbook drawing, although it probably doesn't, obviously. Uh, anyway, I also use mapping pen as well as the G pen, typically for laying down flat color as well as for line work. I find the G pen is really nice for lining hair because you can get a really nice tapered uh, end when you flick. And for my sketchbook with the paint, my brushes kind of vary because I get a bunch of them from Art Snacks because I love Art Snacks. So yeah, I have several. I have like Princeton brand and um. Um, Kalinsky Sable? Some, something like that? I don't know. What is my favorite thing to draw? Everything. <laughs> my go-to doodles are eyes and people, which is probably obvious because I tend to draw people a lot. But what I really like to draw is just new things, things I haven't tried before, because I feel like I'm learning so much whenever I do that. What am I doing with my channel? Right now, I do mostly speed paints and occasional tutorials. But in the future, I would also like to do animations, vlogs, and maybe some reviews. I guess if you want to see those, then just let me know. And that's all of the questions I have written down, so I'm going to go to the ones, the other extra ones I found. Um, hmm. Name three artists you'd like to be compared to. Oh, goodness. Okay. Um, I really like... Ideally, I would be compared to somebody like Aaron Blaze. That's, like, I found him a few months ago, and I absolutely love his artwork. He, his style is just amazing to me. So I really like him, and I also would like to be compared to, I think, Cynix. Like, I, that person does a lot of tutorials, as well as Keenan Lafferty, who also does a lot of tutorials, and I like all three of them. Time for one more question. Okay, so uh, professionally, what's my goal? 
My goal is to be able to inspire others as well as to be able to support myself with doing what I love. That's as simple as I can make it. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you learned something that you like about me. <laughs> and uh, I have other videos, so watch them. Please and thanks. Um, bye!